What's good everybody? This is going to be a video on dynamic object glitch, an actual tutorial on it since my let's play video on it got 300 400 views and there was it wasn't even like a tutorial my mic was muted so here's an actual tutorial on it i apologize for background audio i just have my window window open i don't know what i just said there but anyway we're gonna head over here to this spot on the map next to eventide this is going to be the first instant instance i show you fuck i can't even speak today first instance i show you of a dynamic object now, Eventide works pretty weird. You have to have Eventide completed for this to work. Now we're just going to drag this chest out. We're going to open it. I'm going to grab these arrows. Then you can either load your autosave or you can go to your travel medallion. And then once we go there... We should be able to pick up the chest again. And as you can see, the chest is closed once again. This chest is a dynamic object. And you can get infinite arrows doing this. Now, I just wanted to show off the first part of that. Now, um... Go to any one of these uh, markers, these waypoints that I have on my map. Go to any one of these and um, just teleport to one and walk over to, to it. And then I will, I will show you what you do next. This will vary from what location you choose, but the concept is the same. Alright, I'll be right back. All right, now, my ideal choice of clothing for this is two pieces of desert bow, the pants and the shirt, and then a ruby circlet with a flaming weapon. And I chose to go to this location down here. Okay. I'm just gonna do a... Bomb launch over here. And we're gonna we're just gonna head down here to this this guardian, this one right here. There is one up ahead. Ignore that one. That is the incorrect one. The one in the water is the one we want. Now we're just gonna lift it up and now we're either gonna use an amiibo chest. Or we're going to use a heavy weapon like a claymore or a, a lionel. A lionel crusher would do just fine. Now, our goal is to push this from here all the way over to about... Let me go Hero's Path. Like about here. All the way to like here. And that is our goal. And yeah, I'll just show you the path you take. This particular path, you want to take a hard left and then we're going to push it off the, the cliff here. And then whenever you push your, ch your chest off the cliff, whenever you drop it, you have to follow it or else it will despawn. So make sure you just follow closely to it. Don't let it go too far off your screen. Oh, that's... Of course I have something that has never happened to me before happen when I'm doing a tutorial. Anyway, you just drop it down this cliff. Stay within the radius of your chest so it doesn't despawn. And now we're gonna... We're just going to push this all the way over here. And then, uh, yeah, I have a stamp here. If you have the DLC, this is Moldu King. But I've cleared him out already, so just watch out for Moldu King. And then, um, there is a Guardian right here. But I've, I've cleared them out already, but 
I'm just gonna push this. I'm gonna cut out the boring part, and I will. I will see you in a minute. All right. So around here is uh when you can um you can climb on top of your guardian with your chest like right where I have it placed, and then um instead of fucking trolling like Link is doing right now. Uh, you can climb on top of the guardian here. All right, looks like I'm pausing. Took me way fucking longer than I'd care to admit, but anyway, climb up top to your guardian, and then grab the chest, and you can kind of just drive yourself when you do this. All right, continuing to the west in the desert. I should say, it's probably pretty obvious, but to use this guardian over here, you have to have a uh, Vanabor is beaten already. Alright. We're about to approach the point. We gotta get around here. So, we're about to approach that area where, um... This guardian will start to spit out infinite parts. Now, I should note, when your guardian starts spitting out infinite parts, do not open any menu, do not open the map, do not open your inventory. Even be careful opening weapons and runes. Just because, um... Just because your game can and will crash. Because the game is just getting overloaded, but... Here, you'll be stopped and your game will start lagging. A shit ton that's how you know this glitch is activated now you're just gonna climb up top get real close and start collecting and that is pretty much how you perform this glitch that is basically in a nutshell I showed you how to do dynamic arrows and this is dynamic ancient parts just go to any one of the four locations and uh, how did this work exactly? We pushed this we pushed this guardian to map squares. Not like region squares or like grid squares on the map when you don't have the region locked. There's like a hidden grid that uh, we can't see. And I just pushed him two squares outside of his original square. And now he's shooting out infinite pieces. But that is how this glitch works. And with these parts, you can get infinite money. You can just sell them for infinite money. And with the arrows, you can use these infinite parts to get infinite ancient arrows. As you can see, I'll pull out my bow. I have I have 700 right now. I'm running pretty low, but I did have 999 ancient arrows beforehand. And another way you can farm is just to take your chest... And if you want to like fast travel out, just uh, just close off the guardian. Just put him back in his original position, and the spawn will stop. You just have to wait for the spawn to stop fully, and then you'll be able to teleport away. But another way to farm is just to prop him up like this. Get underneath him, and this is where the cl clothing clothing combination that I have on with the flame weapon comes in because you don't want to be damaged while uh, you don't want to be damaged by temperature while you're doing this because you can't go into your inventory to heal but yeah I'm gonna pause and I'll be back I'll be back in a moment once I've grabbed all of this Alright, as you can see, I can't grab anymore. I'm maxed out. So what you do is, when you can't grab anymore, grab your Magnesis chest. And just slam it down. Stop the spawn. And then we're gonna wait a little bit. Just gonna wait a bit. Play it safe. And then we're gonna teleport. And that is how you get infinite ancient parts. I'm going to be selling mine. I'm going to be selling mine quickly. Because, um... Over the past couple days, I've been trying to get a million rupees. Seeing if it's possible to break a million, or if it caps it 
999,999. So let's see if I can make Link a millionaire real quick. I'm gonna save here. Because I might have to save something or sell something. I don't want to just, just for the sake of testing. I want to sell my freshly duped ancient pieces. Alright, now I'm going to sell like, I don't know, let's say like 150 of these. No, it does cap out at 999. You cannot make Link a millionaire. But anyway, that is Max Rupees and how to get it. Thank you for watching. Peace out, everybody.